Hi guys. Hello, hello. I'm hoping everything works out here just fine. Yes, it looks like I'm, hi, yes, it looks like I'm connected. So hi friends. Um, I have been doing just a little bit of thrifting. We don't have a great thrift place uh, necessarily. Um, our Goodwill isn't, I, you know what? It probably is awesome. I just don't go in there enough to really know for sure. Uh, but I found this lampshade and I thought it was so cute. I was looking for something with a lot of ribs. Okay. This is what I'm going to call ribs. Um, it was a little bit like poked in and I went through and was kind of hot gluing and I was starting to play with this thing and I thought I'm just going to go live and see how this goes. I don't know. Hi, Terry. So um, the weird thing about this lampshade is it actually goes, hi, Cindy. Uh, how are you? I've missed you. Um, it usually, it sits like this, honestly. See how the, the little light, like I brought, I brought this from my window. So it would set like that is how it's supposed. So like it must have had a fancy, uh, like sconce or bottom or something and it sits see it sits like that so it's upside down for how i think it should be <laughs> so because um Ju my friend julie and i when we were antique shopping we bought this hunk of wood we both got one and we want to make lamps out of it so it's got a little bit of a hole here um it's not very deep it's only that deep like I'm hitting bottom. So um, we we're gonna we we ordered the guts from Amazon and the cord and the harp and all of the things to make this into little lamps. And I was messing around with mine. Um, let's see, where did I do it? I can't even tell. Oh, right here. And I was sanding, and I thought it sanded pretty easily, but I really want to try the bleaching. I really think that bleached furniture and bleached wood is going to be the new thing if it catches on. All of the, um, uh, hey, Beverly, hi, hi, friend, hey, Deb, um, all of the, like, the vendors at the vintage market place that we love all had tons of bleached. Everything was bleached. So I kind of, um, I kind of wanted to give that a try. Uh, and I thought, what a great little project to do it on. And really, this is a nice, a nice fit um, for that. Of course, it would be up a little bit, except that it's upside down. <laughs> So it's not gonna work. And um, we were kind of thinking of different shades. We were thinking about wire baskets and um, like the egg, no, old egg baskets. Um, and then Julie said maybe rattan, like a, like a basket type shade. So we, she ordered several, so I didn't do anything because I'm gonna wait and see what she's got. And then we're gonna pick what we want and then we'll be um, going, I'm probably gonna do it in my group, unfortunately. I'd love to do it on this big page, but I really like to bring um, my best stuff to the um, to the group. And I think this was, I was gonna do this in there, but I just haven't seen you guys in a while. So I thought next project I'm doing, I'm gonna do with you guys, cause I kind of did almost too many this month over there. So, so anyway, let's tip you guys down here and let's just pretend that this is a normal lampshade. I think what I would do is make this like be one that would hang from the ceiling. Um, and you guys could add like add a trim with some things hanging down or whatever, some crystals to it or whatever you would want to do. Um, but I thought I would show you just the basic of what I was looking for. Oh, there was somebody else said hi, I missed. I bet I missed a bunch of them. Um, Tony, hey, T hey, Tony. And there's Tanya. Um, hi, girls. So what I thought, first of all, I'm going to hot glue, I wish I had more of this. I only have three strips of this thick jute. Then I have to go with this little skinny jute because that's all I have. So we have some yucky like twine stuff outside, but it's not, it's kind of a, a rusty looking color. It's not good. So I don't want to go with that, but I don't, I feel like you can almost see the white of this a little bit more than what I would want. So um, I'm going to go around here. 
uh, and cover up some of that white. Let's see, let's get that tip back there a little bit. Okay, so that covers up the white pretty good here. Let me make sure it's even. I need to roll this one back a little bit. Okay, all right, and then I'm gonna work my way down this little piece of trim. What I did was I cut out some, um, let's see, I don't really think I need to do that like glue all the way. Let's just see. Let's get this next piece on here because it's kind of in a funny spot and then I'm just going to tack glue it here and there. Um, I I went and of course you know I paint houses with my girls, with the girls we I work with um, and we always have drop cloths so I cut a square off of a new drop cloth and I cut each panel off of that drop cloth to fit this lampshade, okay? So just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna be, so, because I've never done a drop cloth lampshade before. I always um, use my muslin shreds and lace and all of that stuff, but I really, I'm focusing on these ribs and I really want these ribs to um, show up. I don't know how those girls get their project and themselves in the camera. I'm not sure how they do that. I can't, I can't get both. So maybe I'm too high on my, on my countertop. Maybe that, I don't know. Maybe they're sitting down in their chair. I can kind of get it that way in my group. Yeah, probably not at my, I'm at my kitchen counter. I've got my, I have my room all set up for our, um, our event tomorrow. You guys, you have to be watching. Tomorrow, I'll be on at 2.30 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. They said we're allowed to tell you guys our times, but not who else is gonna be in there. There's some surprise, there's a surprise guest. There was a last minute awesome guest who follows me. Uh, very talented, she does a lot with papers. Um, I was excited to see, I don't know if you girls will know her or not, uh, the event, if you if you want to see like the entire event you would have to ask to join the um the uh, hi sally you would have to ask to join the sparkle room it's called um, and i've been putting the link in if you guys just when this when you're out of here just scroll back through my feed and you'll find the link to the sparkle room we're gonna be we're gonna be dressing up and we're gonna be um putting on a show for you guys and I'll be in my own, I'll be, we'll go on each of our own pages and then, um, hi Cindy, is that Cindy? Looks like Cindy Chapman, right? Yeah, Cynthia. Um, we will be, um, putting on a show. Let's just say that. So at 1245, they're going to say hello in the group and then they're gonna kick it off at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and then it's gonna be an event all day long with different crafters every 30 minutes, and we're all making a romper room magic mirror so that when we start our videos, we can say, hi, Karen, and hi, Sheila, and you know, that kind of thing. And so I think it's gonna be super fun. We're all, like, it, all of us involved in it have just been chatting about it and really, really looking forward to it. So I think it's gonna be a fun event for everybody. Do I have enough to go around this just once? I do. So I'm gonna do it just on that bottom little edge. Um, I don't have the, I wish I had more of this jute. It's on my list. <laughs> Next time I go to town, I need to get a thicker twine. I don't know if it's jute. I mean, to me, it's, I don't know what it is. Whatever this string is, <laughs> everyone has different terms. And I, oh, you know what? I forgot to get my scissors. Shoot. You know what? I do every video, I swear to you, I try to think. I sit and go through the whole project in my head to make sure I have everything. And on it, I don't have scissors. We'll just see how this comes out. Maybe I won't need them. Maybe I just won't. Um, so what I did, so anyway, make sure you're in the magic, uh, the, I'm sorry, the sparkle room. Make sure you're in the sparkle room. 
um, just so you can see everyone else's outfits. You guys, they're wearing like, I'm not kidding you, sequenced ball gowns. I mean, they're like prom dresses for adults. I'm not kidding. And all of the fancy, just the more sparkle, the better. I was gonna say bling, but they're calling it sparkle because of the sparkle room. Oh, is this gonna make it? Oh, yeah, just. Um, so anyway, I think it's gonna be so fun to watch everyone. It's kind of going to be a showmanship thing and they have prizes. They're asking you guys to dress up and so many people in the group are going to be dressing up. Um, you mean ladders. Mm, I'll have to look back through and see what you mean. Um, oh shoot, I didn't get, oh shoot, I didn't bring my glue sticks in here either. Oh shoot. You guys, I stink at this. You know what? So many people do such a great job and I watch them all and I'm like, I can do that. I want to do that. And then I do it and I suck <laughs> and I know it. But what do you do? You just, I don't know. It's fun and I love it. And I love talking to you guys. I'm just going to take it on around. You probably won't see it. I have one piece here that's when I washed it, went a little bit short. So maybe I'll put that there in that one. So, all right, let me grab my scissors. I gotta go the long way too. Let me grab my scissors and my glue sticks. Okay, cut through here. You'll see what I have. Oh, how do I get in? Okay. Oh my gosh, I hate when I have to leave you guys, but there, I got, I got my scissors, which I don't even need now, but I got them. I got my glue sticks, so there we go. Sorry about that. So yeah, I have, I'm out of camera range. What does that mean? Oh, you guys have been watching me this whole time. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> See what I mean? Here, I have a tip from you from Debbie, for you from Debbie Rugg. Can I get this out? Yeah, put a little bit of glue on the end of your glue stick before you shove it in, and then it'll just pull, it. it'll just feed itself through. That's a great little tip. Um, from Studio MDAZ. I thought that was a fantastic tip. Okay, we're going to forget about me and we're going <laughs> to show you guys this. Oh, man. Okay, but I am good to go now. So what I did, I laid my lampshade down and I tried to draw on my drop cloth. Okay, this is literally just drop cloth material. See? And I made these little shapes that would be this shape. Then I cut them out and then I ran them through the washer and dryer and then I ironed them. So that's how you get this really shagging out, okay? So I didn't take into consideration, I mean, I, I wanted it to do that, but I didn't think it would shrink down. So I think I'm gonna be really close on some of these. Um, you know, it wasn't an exact science, but anyway, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit, Nervousy nervous about this, but we're gonna we're gonna make this work. But you can see why I needed more glue sticks for sure. So okay, we're gonna glue down the bottom. And I'm thinking if I have to do anything, I will do something else around the top. But that's why I added that twine or, or jute or whatever around the top so that oh I am glad I got these. This is a little bit too hairy dog. A little bit. Um that's why I, I'm glad I grabbed the scissors, but that's why I wrapped that jute. Um, shoot, I'll tell you one more thing I wish I had. I am, I'm all set up in the other room. I have a little surprise for you um, for my backdrop. And so I didn't want to do it in that room. And I've been messing with my hair, trying to get my hair. Oh. I'm not very good at curling my hair. And I forgot my spray adhesive. So we're just gonna do that and see what happens. Hopefully, that'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. So, focusing on this is what I want. Instead of making it, you know, any one I've ever done has always been more tailored and more, um, I don't know, just nice, nicer, <laughs> more, uh, more sleek I don't know just more about the um, more about the the lace and all of the buttons and the things that I do to them but I thought with this one what I want to try to do is enhance all of these ribs and make all of this 
um, stand out kind of at the at the at the joints, I guess, at the at the ribs. I don't know the right words here. <laughs> I think it's gonna turn out really cute, you guys. I really do. But we'll see. So so again, I took a drop cloth. I tried to trace the panel. And then I just did it once, and then I traced that onto my drop cloth. And I'm, I really didn't want to see any of this gold, but like right there, see how short that is going to be. So I didn't do a great job. But if I have to do something, we'll figure out what that might be later, and we'll do it but I really didn't want to put a trim on it or anything because I wanted it to um, be hairy on the sides. You know, I really wanted that, I really wanted that uh, fringe to be out. So if I cover, oops, if I cover it with anything, then I'm kind of defeating my, defeating my purpose there. That's what I was going for. So then we'll shove that over. See? I saw a lampshade on Pinterest. It has nothing to do with nothing, but I saw a lampshade on Pinterest and it was kind of like this. And I thought, oh, I wonder how they did that. And so I first went out and found myself the shade. And then now I'm trying to figure out how they did that part. <laughs> so yeah, I think I have it though. Look at that. You like the frayed edges. I do too. I think that's going to do enough talking. So I have a question for you guys. I brought up some stencils in black and I thought maybe on one of the panels I would put like number two with maybe kind of a feed sack sort of line just on one, just, just like in one area and that's it. What do you think? Yes or no? <laughs> yes stencil, no stencil. Tell me what you think because I can't decide. I really can't decide what to do here. Um, I really can't, to be honest. Tell me what you think, yes or no. How about, how about maybe if I get a thumbs up for stencils, a thumbs up for if you think I should stencil, or they don't have a thumbs down, do they? Um, or just don't send anything. <laughs> so, oh, there's one. Okay, so yay, I have, oh, there's another. Okay, good. You love the farmhouse. Okay, yay, yay, okay. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't want it to be like too obvious, so I better get my button gear and get that going because I need it to dry. And of course, I didn't bring any dryers. I hate to dry stuff when you guys are watching, but it's gonna be such a thin layer anyway. So I'm, what I'm thinking is, I'm keeping all of these little strings that I'm cutting off, and maybe I can patch that oh oh terry said she wouldn't oh dear and i love terry she's got the best taste hmm i don't, I don't know i kind of have i don't know i kind of had it in my mind you know why i'm not afraid because if i don't like it i can turn that to the back so terry i'm going on girl i'm gonna i'm gonna go against the grain and i'm gonna do it I was really leaning towards doing it. Oh, that really makes me not sure though when you say no. Because like I said, I love Terry. Um, so, okay, here we go. Let's just do it. I'm gonna do it really subtle. So I have some Country Chic paint here. Just my regular old chalk paint that I use all the time. You can find it on my website, TammyLovesVintage.com. The black is called Licorice. Okay, so I dipped in with the stencil brush as a flat brush. And then I'm getting rid of it, guys. I don't want any paint on my brush because number one, I'm scared. <laughs> and number two, you don't want it to bleed. So I'm just going to do a really subtle little like feed stack sort of stripe. I wish the stencil would have been skinnier, but it's not. So see, that's not so bad. That kind of has the feed sack sort of look to it. That's not bad. Let's do the tiny little number two down here. 
Okay, just a tiny little two down low. Let's see, that's gonna fall in the, yeah, that's gonna be right about right. So, okay, not adding any more paint, you guys, not adding any more paint at all. Just using what I had on my brush. Let me check it, pretty good. Let me give it just a little bit more right there. All right, so there's our number two, okay. And then I thought on the panel beside of it, I would put the number, let me see. And this has a little bridge. I'm gonna have, I'll use a Sharpie marker when I'm all done. This has a bridge on it that I, I never like the bridges. Um, maybe I don't wanna put the number, maybe I just want the two. Um, maybe we'll wait and see. Is that dry enough? Yeah, that's plenty dry. I didn't need a dryer. Okay, let's see what happens. So if I do the number, it would go before this one. So let's do this one next. Okay. I think it's cute. Do you hate it? If we hate it, we'll just do this. <laughs> Push it to the back. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's cute. I think it added a little something. So, all right, let's go. Oh, I'm upside down. I'm like, why does this feel different? Okay, because I'm upside down. Okay, and then I squirted a little bit in here since I didn't have my, uh, whatever, my seam adhesive. So the two is going to be upside down for you guys for just a, just a second here. I'm going to run it down the side. Okay, pull it tight as I can to get it up high. I'm going to pinch it together and I'm going to roll it over here. So it looks like I'm just going to be short kind of at the bottom. So let's stretch that over. Okay. And I'm plenty at the top, plenty. So I can actually pinch that up a little bit if I wanted. Give that a little more fraying. Okay. All right, so here's where we are now. Okay, now, hmm. So do we like it that way? Do we like it that way? Or I wouldn't put the circle on there. I, I would tape off the circle, but that just says N-O, like number. Like number, oh, you can't really tell, but. I don't think I want that part. I'm not gonna do that. Even though it's really pretty, I'm not gonna do that part. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to put this as low as I can. So we're oh, I want to pull all of this fluff. Oops, that's not all the way glued down either. Let's glue that down better. So today my mom is at the the Mansfield prison. She is touring. They have like this, there's this really old, creepy prison in Mansfield, Ohio, and it is the coolest. We've been there. We've taken our kids when they were grown, and oh my gosh, it is so cool. And they decided to go see that today. Oh man, they're in for a treat. That place is so creepy. That's where like the Shawshank Redemption movie was filmed, like with the with the um, the uh, prison uh, cells that are that are stacked. Oh, well that's in there. No, it's not. Uh, the prison cells that are stacked way high and oh and it is so fancy you would i mean it's old now and moldy and scary for halloween they, they always open it up at halloween time but um man that place is so you should look it up online sometime it's the mansfield prison 
it is something to see for sure. And I think like there's, it's moldy, kind of moldy and getting, getting really yucky. I don't know what they're doing about that, but there was a sign like if you were pregnant, they didn't want you to go in for that. Um, but, oh, it's so cool to see and what an awful life. Oh my gosh, those men that had to live there. Mm. You'd think twice before doing anything bad if you had to go there, I can tell you that. Okay, we're almost here with this. And then, and then I have no other plan for the, where it doesn't match, except maybe hot gluing some of that stuff in. And I'm thinking that might do, that might do the trick. I've been kind of like trying to think, what could I do? Cause I know there's going to be some spots and oh, my glasses falling down. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So here we go. You guys could do this with any lampshade. I don't think it would be as much fun, like with a drum shade, like the, the plane all the way around. That was why I was excited to find this, but it just go figures. We didn't even realize it was weird until we got to the car. I um, I thought, oh my gosh, look at this lampshade. And then we're really looking at it. I'm like, wait a minute, what the heck? This thing's like an upside down lampshade, which kind of sucked. But at the same time, it's a good practice for this. And it's a good to show you guys how it would be and myself. And um, I think it could be used, you know how I hang them in my office like a chandelier? I think this could totally do that. So we'll see. We'll see. All right, I got one more panel, guys. One more panel. Um, I haven't been looking at the comments. I watched oh, Amber Strong. Do you, I'm sure you all watch Amber. Um, she did a truck. It came up for me this morning, so I'm assuming she did it last night. And I mean, I, I woke up, I turned on Facebook, I saw her making that truck, and so I watched her, bless her heart, <laughs> she went on and on. It was like this long, long video, and she was just doing like me and crafting along and, you know, not just answering when she could, and I enjoyed her little video so much. And that stinging truck turned out so cute. And she worked, she worked and worked and worked to get that truck painted just right. And it turned out adorable. Um, she did like the reverse canvas thing. And it's funny, the things you've done. Now, I've never done that, but I've seen that done a ton of times. Um, but it was fun. I sat and watched the whole thing. So anyway, my husband comes up and he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, oh, I'm watching this girl. <laughs> and I said, I'll be right down. So I kept watching her. And she kept going and going and going and going so finally i shut her off and i went and got in the shower and while i was getting ready i, sh I turned her back on and she's still going 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 <laughs> i get all done with my morning and i came downstairs and i had a bowl of cereal <laughs> watching her while i'm eating my cereal oh it was so funny she just he's like is she still going <laughs> say yep <laughs> oh it's funny so yeah, I watched her all morning long make this truck thing and it was so cute. She's fun though. She had her hat on backwards and her cute shirts that she makes and <laughs> she's good. Everything she does, she's good at. She used to have a store. She, I don't know. She just is pretty cool. Pretty cool girl. Um, building a house now, so she's got a lot of content. Okay, so here's where I'm not, okay. So I think it's looking really cute though. What do you think? I can, I can see it right there. I can, let me see if I can stretch this over. I think some of it might be my lack of good gluing. Yeah, okay. I am glad that I ran the twine, but I don't know whether to cut it down to where you see the twine nice or just let it kind of let it go. Now there's a hole that I don't like for sure. So let's try, I just wanna try this idea of hot gluing some of this string in there and see, yeah, yeah, I totally think that that works. Yay, okay, look at the, I got a whole pile of strings and I got a whole lot of drop cloths. So I can get a whole lot more strings if I need them. 
So let's see. Let's see what else. Oh, whoops. Did that just come off? Or is that a different spot? Okay. So I'm going to just try. So there's that one. I think I've got another kind of a spot right here. So let's see what happens if we just put some stringing in there. This is just the trash that I snipped off of the pieces here, but I think that's the fix. I really think that's kind of gonna give it that look, especially if you're gonna hang it from the ceiling. Um, yeah, and just that little subtle number two, that doesn't bother me at all. It gives it a little something. Actually, I brought a button and I thought I might even put a little button with it. Just simple, just a simple little touch. Cause you know, I always have to have a button. So buttons and keys are kind of my thing and lace. <laughs> so, okay, here's a bad spot. I'm not crazy, see it? I'm not crazy for that. So let me glue down what I can. I glue this down. There we go. Okay, and then let me see what I can do with these strings. I think the strings are a nice little patch. I still see some, but I've got plenty here still. So let's throw some more in. It's sticking to my fingers. Okay. Okay, yeah, see, it's working. You guys, it's working. Rather than adding something else, I kind of like using its own strings. What a cool, what a cool fix. I'm, I'm happy. I wish I had more scrappies. <laughs> okay, I need another stick here. Okay. I really like the tatteredness and I love the color of this. Just a neutral, you know me, right? And I know I could rig this up to fit that little uh, lamp thing that we're gonna make, but I um, I think I want a working lamp, you know? So I think I want a working lamp. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Maybe, maybe what I need to do is make a really cool wood base and put a lamp, put the lamp parts in Oh, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make something that makes this work. Um, okay, I'm trying not to push it down because I want it to be a little, you know, st uh, stringy. So there we go. See any more bad? Do you see any more bad spots? we're good and then on the bottom there's a little bit here and there there's a spot for sure I think I'm gonna have to cut up some squares of drop cloth and <laughs> wash some more to get some strings and then oh I wonder what would happen if I just on purpose to edge out the bottom of this um, I wonder if I on purpose would cut a strip like a long strip like you know like a half inch maybe an inch and laid that on the bottom instead of I don't know I kind of like it rough but there's bad spots here and there or you know what I could do here's what I could do here's what I could do on the bottom keep stringing keep getting the top covered Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's talk about this. We're gonna talk about this for a minute. Oops, I get a piece on me. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I've got, I got a plan. So, hi guys. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut about a one inch strip off of my drop cloth. I'm gonna cut a one inch strip that will go all the way around this, keeping it. Uh, I'm going to make one inch, then I'm going to put it in the washer and in the dryer. And then I'm going to trim off the top edge. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, Michelle, I think we're thinking the same idea. But what I'm thinking is rather than 
trying to get that exactly the right height. I'm afraid a half inch will just disintegrate in the washer and I think an inch will be too much. So I was thinking I could do an inch, cut off the fringe across the top and fold it over to have a nice straight edge and then run a nice straight edge and let the fringe of the bottom of that strip be my fringe on the bottom. So then I'd have a nice straight edge to finish myself off and then the fringe off of that. That's what I think I want to do. I, I'm afraid if I do, like you said, and have the fuzzy on the top and the bottom to get that just right, it would be super cute, but boy, I just think it would fall apart in the washer. I guess I could do two strips, I could try it. I could do a strip with um, like a one inch strip and then I could do a strip like I think I want. Why don't I do that? So there you go, that's all we're gonna do today. <laughs> that's it. But I think I think you get the idea. I think that I need to add stringing to cover up this now that I see how good that works. That was I did not have that idea until we were live actually. So um, I think that was a good fix. So there's a little bit of moss I've picked up from my glue gun. I did a flower arrangement yesterday. So yeah, I, I love it. I hope you guys like it. I think it's a great idea. Um, yeah, I think that'll give me a better edge. And I think because I, I didn't anticipate the shrinking of these, I thought I was going to have a little overhang and I, I thought, how am I going to get that just right? So knowing that it's going to shrink, I already know I'm going to have an issue if I want an exact band. So yeah, so I think I'll just, um, poke around here. I see a little spot there that I can see through, but for the most part, it's exactly how I hoped it would be, which is super cool. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you give it a try. If you have a, a lampshade, um, run out and get a little drop cloth. You don't need a great big one. I mean, I you saw I only had little tiny pieces, so just some small drop cloth. Um, and you can pay attention to the colors of the drop cloths if you see them in person. Um, yeah, Darla, I think I might be able to save it and make it work like that. Um, like this is gonna be a lamp in the future, in the near future. And the problem is, is that it's, it's upside down. It wants, the, the light bulb holder is here. If you can see that. See, there you go. So it wants to go this way, which I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> so I wanted to go this way and it does sit on here. So all I'd have to do is cut some grooves. Um, there's two bars right here. So I could just cut a notch out of both of these and set those bars in there and it would set just fine and look like a lamp. I wouldn't have to mess with cords, but I wouldn't be able to light it either. But you're right, maybe a candlestick or something. We'll figure something out. It won't go to waste for sure. But I think I really need to focus on trimming out that bottom edge. So anyway, you guys, yay! <laughs> I think it's good for winging it. And I had an idea and a prayer, <laughs> but I didn't know exactly how it was gonna be. So one more thing I wanted to show you. We just finished this in our group yesterday. You remember the little, when I did my unpacking from my uh, antique uh, trip, and I showed you the little wooden thing with the drawers. I wanted to show you how I posted some pictures, but pictures don't ever do it justice. Um, I had this ledger from 1990. There's lots of pages. You girls that order our book bundle, our page bundles, or our antique boxes from the website, TammyLovesVintage.com, has handwriting in there. This is what I do with those sorts of papers. When you, when you wonder, you know, what do I do with all that? Oh, I tried the ironing thing. I need to hot glue that down. I tried the ironing the Mod Podge. <laughs> so I did it old school on this side and then I did the ironing way over here and I didn't use parchment, I used a towel. And I bet I could pull that whole thing off if I wasn't careful. But I didn't want any wrinkles, but I love the handwriting on the sides. And it's interesting the things that they bought. Let me see if I can tell here. Um, <sighs> I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Oh, if this is their names. Uh, oh, there's, he bought two boxes of crayons, a bat of ink, and tobacco. This guy bought a dab, is it, does that say a dab of glycerin, three pounds of 
something. S H A T N one. It looks like one ninth of a pound of powder. I don't. That's what it looks like. Ten yards of something. A yard of something. Twelve thread. A half a yard jeans. Pins. Fur shade. Fur shoes. F U R fur shoes. It looks like one seven eighth of a pound of butter. Um, someone wanted to trade for cash. Uh, over shoes something trade for cash um, sponges and butter the bottom one says butter and this side sugar coffee calico uh, flannel two misses four two yards um, there's jeans 30 I'm seeing the other side of the writing there's butter and thread and thimble Canton 12 and a half um, sugar needles. How cool is that, right? I just think that's so interesting, so cool. And then on the little drawers, I put little sheet music uh, pages on the drawers, and then I painted the insides of the drawers. And then on the fronts, this one says, He Leadeth Me and What a Friend. I can remember my mom singing both of those songs. Um, what a friend we have in Jesus. I love that. And then paid 10 more sheet music and then i found this it says ohio home right here um this one just says fred martin i just did it for the writing really and then this one says coffee sugar six candy ash something a bucket lace and safety pins so i think it's adorable so i'm gonna put it in the kitchen just for a while i've already got a lady that wants to buy it so whenever I decide to part with it, I'll reach out to her. But I'm going to keep it for a while because I love it. So let me fix this side. Um, but you know, some things that I love, I find other things or I want to make another one. And I told her I keep my eyes peeled for another. We saw a lot of things with drawers in them. If you're at Goodwill, um, look for old jewelry boxes and stuff. And you guys could make something like this for yourself. It may be a different shape. But I love the feature of having the music on the sides of the drawers. So just to inspire you, um, like I said, we did it in our group, Tammy's Making, but I um, I just thought it was adorable. So, and the drawers are usable. You could put it between your sinks in the bathroom and put your jewelry and your lipsticks or whatever in there or in the kitchen, and put whatever in it, whatever you want. There's, you know, you put it at the desk with uh, rubber bands and paper clips and all of that stuff, or you can just sit and look at it like I'm gonna do. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I appreciate you watching. I sure hope you join me tomorrow um, for our uh, magic mirror. It's kind of a competition. So um, yeah, you've got, to, you've got to be in the group called the Sparkle Room though. Those girls are going to be sparkling. Like, I can't wear a prom dress. You know what I mean? Like, I, it just wouldn't be. I'm too, I'm, I just could, I wouldn't be, I don't know. I've got bling, trust me. But, and I've got, well, I, you just have to watch. I can't even tell you. I, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> but you gotta, I can't wait to see them. It's going to be such an entertaining uh, day tomorrow. Uh, starting at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time in a room called the Sparkle Room. And I will be here on my page and they're gonna share me over to, uh, over to the Sparkle Room. Um, so you, you can just watch all day or whatever, but we're all making the exact same craft, which I think is super cool. And we're all gonna put our own little twist on the idea. So I think that's gonna be super fun. So uh, I don't, I bet you none of, well, I know none of them will be the same. Um, there's no way they could be. So I think it's going to be exciting. So I'm so excited to be part of it. So you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I will text you tomorrow to remind you, um, probably in the morning or like right before it begins so that you don't miss like the beginning and, and, um, the first presenter. And then, um, I'll probably text you again right before I go live just to remind you that I'm going to be live. Um, and this texting thing's working really well. Uh, my text number, if you guys can get a pencil, um, uh, and maybe some, maybe one of you guys will put it in the comments for me. Um, 
It's my number is 740-273-6693. So um, 740-273-6693. Just text me a hi or whatever. And then too, when you're shopping with me and we need to talk to each other about your address or billing or whatever, I got a way to reach you. It's private. Nobody knows that you and I are texting. Hey, Joe, thank you for that. 740-273-6693. So um, we can uh, text and I tell you when I'm going live in my group and when I'm going live in my page or if there's anything you know, that we need to talk about something that I saw that you might like, or if I'm shopping for you, you know, it's just a great, it's just a great way to text each other. And it's just like you're texting. It's really cool. So, okay, that's all I have. I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow, 2.30 Eastern Standard Time. If you don't do anything else, at least come and support me because I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> I can tell you I'm going to be nervous. So come and support me if you would. Be my, be my BFF, <laughs> please. I heart you forever if you would. Um, give me lots of hearts and lots of love because I'm going to need it. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.